Hello guys, it's the Krusty Cupcake here in World of Warplanes, the new MMO from Wargaming.net for the PC. Um, I just did this recording and realized I didn't have my mouse on in my recording software. So everything I pointed at, you couldn't tell. So I'm here doing it again. Actually, for the third time, I did it twice. I know. I I'm pretty bad. Um, here we are, just going to be a quick little noobs guide, about 10 minutes long, um, as I'm going to try and keep it just nice and short, get everything in a short amount of time. So let's get into it, since I had to do this big long intro. Um, it's open beta, anybody can play, here we've got player account, you start out with premium account in the open beta, uh, move you along faster. Here you have your crew, they go, they seem to level up about the same speed as World of Tanks, but because this is a tier 1, I zoomed right through it. That guy is still at 50% the starting. Uh, when you start playing, you will not have to accelerate crew training. That only appears when you've researched all of the modules for the aircraft. Mm, excuse me there. Now when you start out, you will have these four aircraft. You've got your American, your Russian, German, and your Japanese. Now, service in here you can change ammunition in tier one it's all standard uh, consumables which will aid you in battle um, repairs it, it always starts out repaired automatically and resi resupply automatically yeah couldn't talk uh, modules which you can use your research points for to research to upgrade your aircraft I recommend tier one through three unless it you're adding bombs to an aircraft don't research anything well only research it to get to the higher up aircraft don't add anything you're wasting your money it's not worth it it's just a tier one to three aircraft it's, it's worthless now to join a battle of course the big orange battle button uh, create a flight that's to add friends play with your friends so you can got team training training single battle standard battle standard battle is all you're gonna want to play in this open beta now here we have the tech tree uh, we're gonna start with the Americans premium aircraft can be bought with these temporary tokens instead of gold if you've played world of war tanks well, <laughs> world of war tanks <laughs> world of tanks um, uh, that's temporary you can earn up to 400 every day um, for if you get five chances or five for every five victories for the first four every day you get 50 tokens and then for the last one you get 100 so 400 tokens every day if you get five victories um, here's your credits used to buy aircraft and here is free experience which is used can be used on all aircraft I recommend just saving that up um, that's very useful for later now some general types of aircraft we've got fighters uh, Americans have pretty good fighters you know nice and maneuverable reasonable amounts of guns pretty good uh, Russians the this right here that's a very maneuverable aircraft uh, I really like these I'm not very far in them uh, mainly because I keep getting pretty bad teams in this aircraft I don't know why but these aircraft heavily armored uh, ground attack you can get some bombs on here uh, which are really good when going up against uh, enemy bases. There's ground targets to go for. Uh, heavily armored, very sluggish in flight. These are not dogfighters, but they. This guy right here has ten guns mounted on the wings. The thing fires a lot of bullets. They also have rear gunners, as some aircraft do, um, which will automatically shoot at an enemy if they are within range of that tail gunner um, here we've got the Germans some more fighters and here we have some heavy fighters uh, Germans have some uh, twin engine planes which are really fast have a nice health chunk being that Wargaming uses that health bar uh, they've also got a lot of guns if you're looking for an aircraft to just rip people apart this line is what you're going for tons of guns um, and definitely if you're coming head on with an enemy aircraft you're gonna wanna just hold down that left trigger and spray them with bullets and shells from your four 7.62 and your two 20 millimeters within the nose of this aircraft 
Um, they're really fun. I love them. It's the this is the line I'm farthest in because I've got that 10,000 experience. I'm just a couple thousand away from getting up to tier five. Um, and then we've got your Japanese. These are fighters. Nothing different about it. If you put bombs on these planes, you're an idiot. That just hinders their maneuverability, which is what the Japanese was known for with their aircraft. These things are dogfighters. If you get in a dogfight, you have a pretty good chance of winning because you're way more maneuverable. But, that being said, because you're maneuverable, you have very little health and very little armor. With a reasonable amount of guns, as I find. Uh, two 7.7s, it's tier 3, that's good. Uh, up, moving on up, you get two 7.7s and two 20mm. So they've got a good armament, but they... 77 hit points. Uh, tier 1 for the Japanese says 45. That's a 32 hit point jump, moving 4 tiers. That's not a lot of health. Now, that's the little aircraft overview. As you can see, the Japanese don't have a lot. I don't know why. Even War Thunder, the Japanese planes, there's not a lot of them. Um, even though the Japanese did have pretty advanced aircraft. And, and, and quite a few of them. Now, I'm just going to uh, lift my filters here and show you all my aircraft. As you can see, I've got quite a few Americans, quite a few Russians, a lot of Germans and not very many Japanese just because they don't have a lot. Now, I'm just going to add that back on to keep it simple. Now here's your experience. Here's uh, aircraft stats. Uh, don't pay attention to the stars. Those don't mean anything. This is what you're looking at. Maneuverability 408, that's really good. As you can see the Japanese 401, it really, there's with those minuscule differences, it's not a big difference. It, it you can't tell except when you start getting into the higher tiers then you can tell when that number starts going down um, airspeed 238 at tier 1 that's not fast well at any tier that's not fast uh, firepower 29 over there 18 17 20 it seems the Americans are winning out on that um, in fact I, it looks like the machine guns pop out right there um, you know, tier 1, you're going to have a lot of fun, you're not only really going to play very seriously, but exterior, you can paint your aircraft, and unlike in World of Tanks, it's free, because it has no strategic advantage um, during battle. Now the store, don't pay attention to this, because it's still in beta, you can't sell any aircraft, once you can, then you can come into the store, but don't purchase aircraft in the store, it's, I find it to be pretty bad, now look at that thing, it's called the Pancake. Um, no joke, that's what its name is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This has just kind of been a, a quick overview and of the basics of the hangar and the aircraft in uh, World of Tanks. Or, not World of Tanks, World of Warships. Not World of Warships, World of Warplanes. Wow, I just named the other two of Wargaming's MMOs before I said the correct one. Uh, it's... It's 4.30 a.m. Give me a break. Um, these are not achievements. These are stats. When they add medals, which like they do in World of Tanks, that, then you, they'll be achievements. But right now they're just stats. Uh, same as World of Tanks and hopefully World of Warships once that comes out. And I find that to be... Uh, that I'm really looking forward to World of Warships. I can't lie. I've been reading up on it a lot and... Um, if you're coming for more thunder, here, let me get back to the game. You're gonna want to go right here, this little button, and you're wanna gonna click settings, and you're gonna you're going to want to look at the controls. Man, I just can't speak right now. Um, you're gonna want to uh, flight. You're gonna want to set some rolling controls like I did. Um, that's really helpful in battle. Helps you not hit the ground. Um, there's you can add. Uh, this is joystick compatible, and I'm really getting to the end of the video here, so I think I'm going to sign off. Um, this has just been a quick overview. If it, the video gets good uh, feedback, then I'll, uh, I'll continue the series, and I'll get more in-depth with some gameplay, show you how these flight controls work. And, um, yeah, uh, I've been the Krusty Cupcake, and uh, stay crusty. That's right. New, uh, new exit sign-off. 
stay crusty.